Hello friends, Techtober got a little interesting because a lot of smartphone makers have announced their upcoming smartphones. We'll get to see the OnePlus 9RT next week. Of course, the Realme GT Neo 2 is also launching on October 13th. And Google has announced the much-awaited Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro, which will be unveiled on October 19th. It will be interesting to see whether Google brings these smartphones to India or not. But I think you will have a lot of options to choose from in the near future. And I think that is why a lot of you have also been asking us about the smartphone recommendations over the past week or so. Because I understand that a lot of these phones are available with deals and discounts during the ongoing festive season sales. So in this video, I'll try and address all those questions. I think by now you know that this is our weekly Q&A video where we take up all your technology related questions and we try to, try to provide you solutions for them. Uh, you know the process as well. It's very simple. What you need to do is go to the comment section, put in your question and use the hashtag let's get tech techie. I will take up all these questions in next week's video. You're watching India Today Tech. I am Manas Tiwari and let's start today's video. So once again, I'm going to start today's video with a quick feedback from Hirsch Jaiswal who is saying that a Q1 was from me. My name is Hirsch. Please check again. So I think he's referring to last week's video. And I'm really sorry, Hirsch, because I think I probably mixed up the names. But now I have your name. And what I'll do is to compensate that whenever we are doing a giveaway, we'll definitely give you a preference. And also, guys, uh, Thank you so much for your love and support because uh, I want to share with you guys that we have also reached 1,10,000 subscribers. It's a small milestone but means a lot to us. When we got to 1 lakh subscribers, we got this little thing right here and now we have added 10,000 more subscribers. So thank you so much. Also, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe. Also tap onto the bell icon next to it so that you don't miss out on notifications from our side. Now, the first question for today is also from Hirsch Jaiswal. See, Hirsch, I'm already trying to make up for last week's mistake. Hirsch's question is, I want small size compact phone. I loved Pixel 4a, but I'm not buying it since it does not support 5G. Will Pixel 5a launch in India? If yes, when? If no, can I go with Pixel 4a? Harsh, sorry to break your heart, but I don't think Pixel 5a will launch in India. If it was supposed to, Google must have made some sort of move by now. I am still expecting it to launch at least one of the Pixel 6 models in the country. And also this is the festive season time where Google uh, eventually drops at least one phone in the country. But then none of those phones are compact. So, I mean, that's definitely, uh, that does not tick your box. Coming to the Google Pixel 4a, I think you should not be concerned about the 4G connectivity as of now. It will take a while before 5G is officially rolled out. In fact, I'm going to interview one of Airtel's top executives next week on 5G on Talking Tech. So if you have any questions around 5G, you let me know. I will definitely take them up with the Airtel guy. Uh, as far as the phone's performance is considered, I reviewed the Pixel 4a last year and it's a fantastic phone to be very honest. Uh, yes, the hardware is not exactly the flagship level or top of the line hardware, but the camera performance is brilliant. Also, you get a compact smartphone. So I think you can definitely go for it. In fact, it's I think selling for around rupees 25,000 during the ongoing sale, which is an excellent price for that phone. The next question I have is from Abhinendra Chauhan. Many Asus ROG 5 are dying. Should I buy or not? Abhinendra, we reviewed Asus ROG 5. And I think we did not face any such issue with the phone. Our review is live on Indirode Tech website, so you can read, that, read it from there. Uh, if in case there are people uh, who are facing this issue, I don't think it's product specific. It could be individual specific issue as well. Uh, but then again, despite that, I would say there are a lot of other smartphones in the market around the same price point, which give you similar sort of performance, gaming performance. So uh, why even take a risk? You can go for a Realme GT or a Mi 11X Pro, which come with Snapdragon 888 processor and are priced almost same as the ROG 5. Next question is from Mohit Sanskar. And he has asked, should I wait for the Asus 8Z or buy S20 FE 5G on sale? Mohit, first of all, and I think a lot of people need this clarity. There is absolutely no point waiting for the Asus 8Z now. 
I have been trying to get a lot of updates for you. This phone was supposed to launch in May. We are in October. There is still no clarity. I've been told repeatedly that it's coming. The launch date has been pushed again and again. And even now, in October, we don't have any clarity about when this phone is launching. Even if it does, I think it makes absolutely no sense to wait for it any longer. So you can definitely look at other options. S20 5G, S20 FE 5G is again a decent phone. If you have made up your mind, you can definitely buy it. But then I would say there are other options again, as I uh, told Abhinendra as well. There is Mi 11 X Pro, Realme GT. All of these smartphones are selling for way less right now during these festive season sales. In fact, if you have a better budget, then you can also go for the iPhone 12, which is selling for about 46, 47,000 on uh, during this ongoing sale as well. So there are plenty of options to look at. Now let's just move beyond ASUS 8Z and look at other stuff. The next question I have is from Gobsd. I am quite confused which phone to buy among these in terms of good camera and better performance. Poco X3, Moto G60 and Realme GT Master Edition. He has also sought for more recommendations apart from this. I think among the three smartphones that you have mentioned, Gobs, Realme GT Master Edition definitely has an edge over the other two phones. It definitely feels a little more premium. These specs are also better. Uh, also, it's again selling for around 20,000 if I'm not wrong during the festive season sales right now. Uh, you can also check out the Mi 11X, which comes with an even powerful Snapdragon 870 processor and again is selling around rupees 20,000. So these are the two phones that you can look at. The last question I have is from Greenlight. How is the camera on Xiaomi 11 Lite any 5G? So Greenlight, I have already reviewed the Xiaomi 11 uh, Lite any 5G. We did a thorough camera review as well. So what I'll do is I'll put that link somewhere here. So you can watch the Xiaomi 11 Lite any 5G review uh, and also check out the image samples. But if I have to sum it up in a couple of lines, what I can tell you is the camera performance is just like any other mid premium smartphone which is there is nothing exceptional or out of the box or to give shout out for. Uh, you get decent images in daylight. The low light performance is pretty average. Again, that also goes to the front camera. Yeah, one thing that I have to point out is that the macro lens is quite amazing. You get uh, very good close up shots, but then it's again, it again comes down to you. How much do you actually use macro lens in uh, real life? So that's what I can tell you about the Xiaomi 11 Lite any 5G camera. So this was it guys. These were the questions that I had for today's video. I hope you find these answers useful. Also, if you have any other questions, please put them up in the comment section. Use the hashtag Let's Get Techie and I'll take them up in next week's video. Thank you for watching.